Okay. Hi everyone. Okay. Hi everyone. Ah. I forgot to mute my own stream. You could drop me. <laughs> I am an idiot. It's okay. But hello. Hope everyone's doing well today. Trying to get everything set up a little bit. Um, here we go. Okay. So, what I'm currently doing is trying to find references for rose flower crowns, because I believe that's kind of what we decided we wanted for the other, the reflection. Um, let me pull this up. Get my little glove on. So I'm currently looking for some reference images. I found one that's kind of cute. I can't find any for like actual withered roses, so I'm gonna have to kind of guess. Um, but I think a lot of it's gonna be based off of color. So like that kind of darker red. I might mix in some black as well and kind of make it look burnt almost, like more ashy. Uh, let's see. Because I want it to still be kind of tiny and dainty like the other one is. Let's see. We'll see how that turns out. Send that to my email. Oops. There we go. And then pull up my stream on my phone. There we go. Okay. Let me pull that in here now that I have that. Okay. And if anyone's in here, just let me know um, how the sound is. Right now while I'm talking, I'm going to have it a little bit more quiet. Um, I'll turn it back up once we got, um, some of this settled and we get more into the drawing side of things. Get everything reset up. Okay. There we go. Pull you down here. Kind of make this a little bit bigger at first. Let's see, where do I have my rough? Bring that below. Put that in there. Now, I think really wanting to put some like almost black in here try to figure out what damn brush I was using I know for that one I was using the turnip pen over here where's my little colors here we go Add that over here. Let's see. So there's the hair. I'm trying to think. Get some kind of grayish greens in here.
very gray. Get that purple back. Little pencil. Let me actually bring this up here. Oops. Let me just get the rectangle. Make this shit easier for myself. This might be easier just to trace because of the good right there. Sketch flower crown. I do trace a little bit just when it's easier for myself with things like this. I don't trace it exactly. Just get the basic shape. But roses are a little bit hard, and I really like the way that this one looks. And I, if something looks like a better way in a certain shape, then I kind of adjust it. So... And you see my mouse kind of doing stuff like that. I think it's mainly saving like a little backup so that if anything crashes, I can still bring it back. Just make that whole thing into a leaf. So this just helps me get like a really basic shape in of all these flowers. So I just get a basic idea. Let me get the where it's mirror sketch, yeah. I'm gonna 
instead make this kind of part of that same rows because these both are leaves. There we go. like the shape of that. Oops. A weird little rose shape right there. I think that looks okay. Bring in that sketch again. So that there's okay. Kind of give us a little bit of vines here and here. Save it again. Give the reference a little bit of... There we go.
Chicken needs will be a little bigger. So now that I have kind of the basic shape, I can kind of adjust. I think that probably looks pretty good. Hmm. Maybe a little up and over? Yeah. And that gets rid of that little thumb. Well, no. Technically it doesn't. I'll have to erase that. Since that thumb would still be the closest right there. Just erase a little bit of that. Maybe add a little leaf here and there. Yeah. Kind of like how that looks. A little bit of a vine there. Okay, one thing I did notice though is that the lips look a little weird here. I think it's because this over here is not even. Oh, not dark enough of an orange. Nope. I'll figure out the orange at some point. Like that? Yeah. Hmm. The biggest thing might be this lip. Goes all down. Oops, Razor. That looks a little better.
like the idea that the other one also has her hair kind of down and like messy. So I might play around with that idea. So like... She's just kind of a little bit more wild almost. It's kind of like little scrigglies out here. It's like instead of this kind of like kempt look, she's more unkempt. This also kind of helps with the fact that not, it, both of these sides are not going to look the same. So, making them look different will help with the fact that they look different. Because then, it's intentional. I do want to show that chin line though, because I really do like that. If only just slightly. Maybe we just kind of... Yeah. Maybe it just kind of goes off to the side like that. So you just kind of... Do like that. I also kind of like the idea that she just kind of makes everything else. So maybe she has some more like little hairs up here. Her eyebrows aren't as neat. Maybe. We kind of go in a little further. Maybe they're a little thicker too. Maybe her lips are closed in this one so that I don't have to do that mess twice. Two. That might help me with these freaking lips. Hmm. 
Because I finally fixed them. We'll leave it. I liked that, actually. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the music and mute myself. Let me know if any of you guys have any questions or anything. Tickets and I spent them off with animals Chasing every comfort like a duckling in the rain Until I find a bit of leaf that I could hide under again And I'll be putting all my pieces back together with some tape Trying to find a reason why I shatter in the first place I've been in my head and overthinking since the first grade But now I got a chance to tackle something every first place Boy ain't got no name Boy can't do no wrong Boy been a big damn nerd Catch me catching my game of thrones Boy ain't got no name I just write my songs Boy been a big damn goo Catch me singing my booty y'all Probably got a million scenarios Up inside my head, I could run a Mysterio Dark Strange, tell me about the good ones Throwing up dice, then I'll get a couple winning rolls I'm a marvel, catch me in the women's rolls Scratch that, you can catch me in the women's drawers Alright, they probably never left me near the dressing rooms But if they did, I'd like to think I'd be impressing y'all Not even one song gone, and I'm feeling better than I did Pair of minutes, all it took to take my angry mind And hit it with a positive spin Keeping up, I think Let the sun shine in let the energy that's radiating kiss me Baby, put a tan on my skin Boy ain't got no name Boy can't do no wrong Boy been a big damn nerd Catch me catching my Game of Thrones Boy ain't got no name I just write my songs Boy been a big damn goo Catch me singing my booty up. Boy ain't got no name Boy can't do no wrong Boy been a big damn nerd Catch me catching my Game of Thrones Boy ain't got no name I just write my songs. Boy, been a big damn goof. Catch me singing my booty up. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god, he just ran in. David, oh, she's sticking to the fledge. Let's go, let's go. Stick to the fledge, Jeff. Stick to the plane. Oh, gee, oh, fuck. Give me the money in the mansion.
never knows when this went wrong Telling me to just move on Holding on to regrets we made Now it's time to walk away Oh, you don't know my scars But ooh, it's not who we are Oh, you don't know my scars But ooh, it's not who we are Who we are Again, take this batter times we went far away from everything. It's all I need. Yeah, so tell me lies, fantasize. We don't need to justify what you need and how to find, but you won't find it there. Oh, you don't know my scars, but It's not who we are. Oh, you don't know my scars, but ooh, it's not who we are. Who we are? Could be. 
If you knew how proud I was, you'd never shed a tear or have a fear. No, you wouldn't do that. And though I didn't pick the day to turn the page, I know it's not the end every time I see a face and I hear her say, Hello, my only one. Remember who you are. You got the world cause you got love in your head. your mistakes oh yeah the good always the bad even though your mistake remember how I'd say hey, hey, hey. you'll be the man you always knew you could be
Maybe you were wrong for the first time And maybe I was looking for a lifeline Someone to hold on to Something I thought was true To tell the truth But I can't let you go And maybe you found someone was all just in my mind We'll rise and fall and start again God knows when we'll reach the end And every single thing might fall apart But I can't let you go And maybe you found someone I'm better off alone Something better came along But I can't let you go
We all seem to carry this disease ungracefully. There are angels on our shoulders, the devils between our knees, and I swear not to be a victim to the way we're supposed to be. I wish there were a certain penance for the sake of keeping clean. I wish there were still people in this world with eyes that still can see there is not a favored answer we're just waiting for the day when we can be more than we are i know you think nobody cares but i do i do it's the same things that we want to believe and you know you gotta get it back so Just like you, I want to know just where I stand amongst the throngs of many masses, herded up and dressed like man, and I wish that they would stop and stare and wonder where they've been, but I still think there's hope here in the end, and I know you think nobody cares, but I do. I do, it's the same things that we want to believe, and you know, you gotta get it back somehow, don't you think it's time you find, it's crazy, but we gotta move past this, I don't remember making promises, but I can keep a promise like this, don't be scared now. I know it's cold, but I have been here before. I know how this might seem, but it will get better, yeah. Don't try to fight, we both know that what's here inside is right. I know you think nobody cares, but I do, I do, and I have all along. But you know you gotta get Somehow, don't you think it's time you find it's crazy? But we gotta move past this. I don't remember making promises like this, but I can keep the promise. It's crazy the life we lead, but this is how it always will be when no one's there. I swore. Always wanted this kind of outro. Wishing I could go back and tell everything I now know to a younger me. Looking up at 23, filled up with anxiety to overcome what's underneath and let him know he onto something, but he got some problems coming. You'll feel like you need a lot, but you'll act like you're wanting nothing. It's like you're paralyzed, can't move because you're terrified. Mind inside a paradigm where you don't even dare to try. So you just lay at night, wide awake with grandeurs of a way of life where everything is perfect till you open those ungrateful eyes. It's kind of like your place to hide. So instead, you'll do everything they say to do. You'll get a corporate job and make 100K out of school. The music still be working at it with your far from perfect habits. I wish that I could tell you that everything will be fine. But I'm not really sure I'm qualified to because I thought I'd know what to say by now. And honestly, I thought I'd be in LA by now. Instead, I'm wasting all my time like I've got nothing to prove. Sit alone and ruin my day just for something to do. And it's been the same for years without an evolution. Claim to be the next to do it without ever executing. I got a mixture of excuses and a list of resolutions. And feel guilty doing anything unless I've been productive. But time doesn't wait, so I'm just missing moments. I'm getting older without getting any closer. Every week I board another flight that takes me farther from my goals and leaves me at a destination that 
that is hardly like a home so now i'm out of sorts i'm feeling out of pocket i'm drifting out of port i'm set on autopilot and just to pay the price so i can pay the rent and either pay attention or feel this pain again and honestly i'm terrified that i'ma die and be forgotten quickly if i go out i don't know if there's a lot who'd miss me hopefully i really have a soulmate so at least i'll have a body beside mine to be rotten with me my mind has been making all these obstacles some days i wake up and i feel like i'm unstoppable and then the next day it feel like it's all impossible the world is at my fingers but there's nowhere else i want to go and last night i finally hit my limit liquor in my system but never had clearer vision punching walls and throwing keys glass shards and broken screens i couldn't keep blaming life for problems because i know it's me the root of all these issues is the lack of all my actions tired of feeling like i'm not committed to my passions and as the tears flow i had a moment of clarity feeling like i'm finally hearing all the things i would say to me like i'm begging you to cut the axe on the annex it isn't any kind of magic ain't no rabbit and hat trick it's just maximum actions at bats with natural talent and it's gonna actually happen once you can ask the distractions but right now nobody's nearing you and doing nothing is your mode and your median you want to flounder you should go to aquariums the block is mine like i'm owning ethereum i know you can hear me but it's slow and i'm fearing you're gonna end up like another fucking old bit of sneering man just walk around with absolutely no need for air and lungs an old testament back to times when no one will pair him up so please just for a minute put a hold on the snare and drums give me a moment to share the love and if you're over it fair enough just let me know now do you really want the gold or are you here for fun because if it's the latter i'll happily end the banter you can get on that plane and live happily ever after but i saw the way you got up this morning you haven't smiled since you stopped your recording and i won't raise my voice now because i'm tired of yelling nobody's buying your charade so why are you trying to sell it so it's affecting those who love you and believe in you the ones who want to see you do the shit that you've been meaning to so treat this like you want it or get treated for this problem you can't go through life happen with these clouds around your conscious you know you need to live each day deliberate because regret is unforgiving you got choices now show me which one is it and i'm not worried about the numbers or the press of the streams just prove to me that you can focus on your dreams or else just give it up and move on pack your bags and put your suit on I just want to love me as much as you love me I just want to love me as much as you love me as much as you love me I know the sun gonna shine in the morning but I just want to love me as much as you love me I just want to love me as much as you love me as much as you love me i know the sun gonna shine in the morning but i i just wanna love me as much as you love me i just wanna love me as much as you love me just want to love me as much as you love me i just want to love me as much as you love me as much as you love me yeah i said the sun gonna shine in the morning but i Just wanna love me as much as you love me.
Promise you a different scene. I, it's beautiful as yours on that night. I guess it's true. One girl can steal the room. I promise I was hooked on your every word. I fucking loved everything that I heard. And even your voice to me was amazingly cute. I know I couldn't leave you on the doorstep with a bite I had to kiss your lips and say goodnight At that moment, I knew I was falling for you And I can't believe how you let me go now I gave you my heart, it was yours to keep and I can't think right You're stuck on my mind I guess I'll pray That tomorrow is a better day How can someone so new Make me smile And make me feel like I'm worthwhile I'll tell you now I'll never forget that January night I even stayed awake to make sure you were safe I left you my hoodie to get you through the day There's nothing more I could have done To prove I'm right And I can't believe how You let me go now I gave you my heart It was yours to keep and I can't think right You're stuck on my mind I guess I'll pray That tomorrow is a better day did that but I stopped myself from streaming and this is my life now <laughs> hi Isaiah thank you for following I am an idiot I hope I'm still streaming what is happening <laughs> Everything is going wrong. Am I still even streaming? Hello, Lord of Mercy. Everything has gone to shit in a matter of seconds. Okay, we're good. We're good, I think. 
sick. Love that for myself. Like, my Twitch and, like, my OBS popped up on my other, like, monitor where my Clip Studio was on. Yeah. It's a whole thing. But thank you for following. Hello. Trying to pull everything back up. Let's see... Give me my sound alerts back. There's my sounds. Is that all I need? I need my stream elements. There we go. Okay. Ah. Give me my station back, please. Let me just do some instrumental then. Uh, what are we feeling? What are we feeling? Let's just do... Hmm. Chili DM. That sounds good. Turn that down a little bit. Ooh, not that far down. Okay. <laughs> Back to freaking drawing, as I was before. Boy. Welcome back. Yeah, don't know what happened there. I fucked up. fuzzy but you always have like little flyaways and stuff let me turn that down a little bit more there we go so i am drawing let me get rid of the color and back with the sketch okay so I have this reference that I really liked. Just a cute little girl with pixie haircut holding a mirror that's kind of dirty and stuff. And I liked her dress and like the lace bit, which is a little bit more experimental for me. Um, so we're just kind of going with that and playing with it as we go. Um, so we got her flower cone and everything. So this is more so based off of the reference picture while the reflection is more so kind of like more of a wild like other part of this person, at least in my brain. So she has more of a withered rose crown to kind of symbolize almost like a depression kind of like mental health kind of thing. More wild hair, more like kind of wild eyebrows that she hasn't really, you know, dealt with in a little bit. You know, more thick, more kind of like unkempt on this side. So her hair is down, her hair is a little bit more wild. Yeah, so like instead of it being like she wants to be that person, it's more so this is like her more real self besides like the version that she portrays to other people but this is kind of what i do for digital drawings i kind of just base it off of a portrait that i see um so i go through pinterest quite a bit and i kind of like certain references and so I take them and I kind of draw from those references, but I change it up a little bit to how I kind of see it. Um, so I'll kind of bring up a couple others that I've done um, in the past. If I can find any. 
that are like decent. So this was the last one that I did. Um, God, that was in 2020. I haven't done any in 2021. How awful of me. But I saw this picture on Pinterest with her holding lights. And I really like glow effects. So I was kind of practicing with that a little bit. Um... The main difference here is her shirt and her hair color. I think she was brunette with like a white shirt or something like that. Um, but I changed it because I wanted to just see how this like blue into green action would kind of look. Especially with this glow effect. Uh, effect. Um, we have... This one is from a while ago. We'll do this one. This one's from a very long time ago. But I kind of accumulated a lot of different looking tattoos and stuff. Um, and it's more so about how people see tattoos in a negative light. But this one's from like 2016, 2017, I think. 2017. Um, so yeah, a lot of these are based off of these kind of references. I don't feel comfortable with, um, digital enough to get to a point where I do it without references. Like I do with, like, my just natural painting. I'm just not used to it yet. Even though I've been doing this for a long time, as you can see. But right now we're kind of just doing the basic flats, except for the skin. I kind of went ahead and did a little bit of sh like flat shading. It will not turn out like that. It'll be a lot more blended. Um, but we're working on the hair right now. Currently, which I'm just kind of fluffing it up, doing some little fuzzy things here and there. Yee! That did absolutely. So you'll see me going back and forth with like undoing shit that I just did and redrawing the same damn thing. I could do little curls and such, but I kind of just like these little flyaway tidbits. Just kind of making the outer edge a little not so harsh because right now if you look at that versus that this is a little bit more hair like but I'm just using this one as a means to kind of experiment a little bit Since I haven't drawn, especially for myself, in a very long time. Okay. Kind of do... Yeah, like that. A little bit bump there. But yeah, figured since I wasn't doing anything else today, I figured I would just do a little bit more drawing since I've missed the past couple of streams, I promised. Because I'm a dingbat. Thanks. 
hello. Thank you for rating and for hosting. How are you doing today? Hello. Thank you so much. Yeah, definitely if you don't use it, you lose it. I've dealt with that for the past little bit. Unfortunately, um, I've done a lot of stuff for school and everything for college. So, like, I know how to paint, <laughs> but I don't really... I lost a lot of my portraiture uh, talent. used to do a lot of portraits, but just kind of lost it. Hello, your pal, Jess. So, just working on some portrait stuff. Um, explaining to my friend Isaiah a little bit. Um, a second ago, at least. Um, this kind of reference picture down here. I'm doing okay. Uh, still a little bit in recovery from an oral surgery that I just had. So, if I'm a little bit more quiet today, I'm... A Usually a lot more hyper and loud. <laughs> but still trying to do my stitches well. <laughs> but just kind of taking this reference picture down here and kind of transforming it a little bit into what I kind of see it as. Um, so kind of this idea of you know depression and how we look to others versus how we look to ourselves so you know looking pretty unkempt and not wanting to get up and get your hair ready and you know do all these things um but yeah so that's kind of what she's looking at in this reflection over here is this idea of she doesn't really want to get up and do all this mess <laughs> much like how I usually don't Dang, I got my wisdom teeth pulled out about six months ago. Had to take a full week off shrooming. Yeah, I feel that. Um, I think I took a month off um, this past little bit just because I'm still in my parents' house. So sometimes it's a little hard for me to stream. Um... Just because I don't want to, like, stream and get the Wi-Fi away from them and everything. So I just kind of vibe here in my house and usually play games. So I'm trying to get back into streaming a little bit more. Especially drawing. I really want to get back into my personal drawings. It's been too long since I've drawn shit for myself. Like, streaming or not streaming. Which definitely sucks. Um, cause... Back in the day... <laughs> I'm really not that old. But, I used to draw, like, every single day. I would make myself draw every day. Which meant I got pretty good pretty fast. Um, back yeah, when I first I started drawing. But now I've lost, like, all of that. Which can be really hard as an artist. <laughs> Thank you for following. Be interesting to see how this turns out. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to keep in the mindset that I don't mind too much about how this turns out as long as I'm experimenting as long as I'm you know drawing you know even if it's not something that I'm super super proud of it's something but I'm much more comfortable with like actual paintings with acrylic and everything like that so digital is a little foreign to me once again because I took too much of a break from it Okay. I think... Eh. To be a little less harsh. But what were you streaming before you came over here and raided me? Thank you again, by the way.
Let's see. Okay. I think that flat color is good. Completely forgot to actually put the sketch up when I was showing y'all. <laughs> Let's see. I'll probably go down to the dress since that's the next biggest part of her. Also because I want to procrastinate that flower crown as much as I can. I want to try to have more of a painterly style with this. But we'll see how that actually turns out, because I always promise it myself I'll do something painterly and never do. Let's see. Dress her right. Did a little painting of a pet portrait. Finished up a gift for my friend of his cat. I absolutely love cats, so I love that, and also love seeing more art strummers. Okay, where is my dang color for this dress? Probably should have labeled these, but now here we are. I'm pretty sure... Let's see, that would be skin, it's hair color, that might be the eye shadow, I think it might be this. I think that's it. I've done dog portraits before, cats are new to me, but I definitely want to do more. Yeah, I would not say I'm any good at animal anything. That is not something I would <laughs> say I'm any good at. So more power to ya. <laughs> okay. But I'll definitely have to go in and check out your art. I love finding new artists. Let's see, I don't think... Let's do this for now so I can kind of see... Oops. Gosh. Hmm. I need to color the paper a little bit darker cause, so I can actually see this. That's a lot easier. Mm, nope. Let's redo that. Let's try that G pen a little bit. Meh. Need something with not as much. Give me that marker. Give me this. What are you? No. Not you. Ah, too big. Fur is different for sure, yeah. I can do hair all day long. Hair is one of my favorite things to draw. When I was younger, I would get called out in class because all I was doing is drawing eyeballs and hair. Just on my paper. It was just a accumulation of hair and eyeballs. It's actually kind of creepy. Like, I'm sure for a teacher to just look at someone's paper and it's just this amalgamation of eyeballs and little hair tufts. Okay. 
I want to challenge myself sometimes to not use the blend tool at all. It's so hard to not make everything just the most beautiful, like, you know, blended masterpiece. Even though, like, I don't do that in, like, um, whatchamacallit, um, like in my, god, there's a word for it, what am I thinking of? Like, my physical art, my traditional art, there it is. <laughs> like, my traditional art is way more, like, textury, like, you know, goodness, very painterly and everything. As soon as it gets to digital, though, I'm like, nope. Everything has to be crispy, blended masterpiece. It has to look realistic. Okay. Artist problems? Yeah. Sounds like some outlaw stuff. You're probably right. I remember there was this one teacher and she literally, she called me out and she's like, are you even paying attention? And I was like, I mean, like I am, but like doing art in the middle of class actually helps me like remember the shit you're teaching me. And so she like called me up to do like this really hard problem and I got it perfectly correct. And she was like, fine. <laughs> But she was so mad at it. She was like, how dare you actually get this problem right, even though you were not paying attention. And I was like, listen, people learn differently, so fight me. She was a cool teacher besides that, but I definitely remember that. Because it was just so funny to me. Because I was like, don't call me out, bitch. Ah, stop being thick. Stop being thick. And now I'm putting pen pressure. <laughs> I'm heavy handed with this. Now. <laughs> I use that excuse to- it's true though, I also learn better when drawing around my notes. Yeah, I don't know what it is, because I'm really not, like, I'm not too much of a visual learner. But something about, like, drawing next to my notes, like, I'll draw, like, certain things to remind me of things. And, like, during the test, I'll be like, oh, that was that one note that I took with a really cool eyeball next to it. And, like, that's just how I remembered things, and it was so weird. And if I finish my test, like, quicker than everyone else, of course, my anxious butt was like, I can't turn it in first. So I just draw eyeballs all over it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure even if I didn't put my name on a test paper, they would know who it was just because of that. But I also had a separate teacher you know, be like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm drawing. I'm like, I'm sorry, I promise I'm paying attention. And she looked at my paper and she was like, that's cool. <laughs> she was like, can I pass this around? And she like passed around my notes because she thought it was cool. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Thanks, I guess. Like, it was a little embarrassing at the time because I was like, you know, I don't want people to see my amalgamation of eyeballs. Eh. I'm getting these lines somehow. Or sometimes are difficult.
Unless my teachers believed I was cheating, aced all my tests, but slept through class. I mean, that's the thing. There's a beautiful thing called studying. Just because you were sleeping through class, which I knew you were, like, A, you were very smart, and I always knew that. But also, like, if you applied yourselves, you, you know, you'd be one of the smartest people at that dang school. But yeah, that was definitely, like, looking back at it now, I'm really glad that she kind of encouraged that. Because I was a very shy bean, especially about my art at the time. Like, barely anyone outside of my very close friend group knew that I even drew. Whoop. I'm just going to keep it as a- oop, that is not my pen. <laughs> Didn't study either. Yeah, but like I said, if you applied yourself, you were smart, so like... Maybe your subconscious was paying attention. Oops. Sometimes I wish I had a face cam for this, because some of the faces I make <laughs> during this is really funny. Let's see. And it's like, I know I can turn you know, the drawing back and forth, but do I do that hardly ever? Nope. Do I absolutely turn my head instead? Yes. Want people to see, but also shy. It's a tricky space. Yeah. Learning to share and put people... Put blah, 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 put art in people's faces, online galleries, social media, etc. was tough. Yeah. That was, like, the hardest thing for me about, like, going to college. Because I was like, I have to put my art out there and also get it basically judged by people. Because um, obviously in high school, they're not as... Um, my high school was good in terms of, like, critiques and everything, but I feel like not a lot of high schools are not, you know, that great. They're just like, cool, you did art, like, A for effort. Um, I was lucky that my high school kind of did critiques a little bit um, in a more, like, sophisticated manner, I guess. But college was definitely, like, I had to really get used to the fact that my teachers were a little harsh in a good way. They knew your potential, so they were kind of, like, they weren't, like, a rude kind of harsh. It was like, hey, like, I know you could do better than this. Like, I know you stayed up until, like, 5 a.m. last night because I saw you. Like, like, listen... <laughs> Like, yes, I did this right before class. Leave me alone. Also, I see. 
but I did not. Fully get this. There we go. Blip. But also a lot of my art classes were very, um, like work based, like most of the class, you know, the teacher was just walking around, like looking at stuff. So it was kind of hard to like get used to the fact that people were like work, like looking over your shoulders the, the entire time. Okay, I think I got it where I can just fill this baby in. Yeah. Except the worst part is that it still leaves this thin line. I hate this. I know I can fix it, but I'm lazy. Critiqued even when you didn't ask. Yeah. I remember, like, the first and, like, only time I cried during an art class was in college. And it was because I made my professor proud for, like, the first time. <laughs> and he was like, I really like this. Like, you could enter this in a show, in a competition, like, anything. Like, this is really good. And I, like, freaking cried on my way back to my dorm. Because I was like, yes, this is what I strived for. Not to get a degree or anything, but to make this specific pro professor tell me that he was proud of me. Which, haha, fun fact, that same professor actually asked me for one of my pieces before I graduated. And again, I almost cried because I was like, yes. Because he literally asked me, can I keep this? He's like, I think it's really good. And I was like, yes. My lifelong dream. Like, I don't care about selling artworks at this point. <laughs> Let's see. I should probably make those edges a little cleaner. Okay, I was wondering why that bump was there. I don't want that much of a bump, I don't think. Ah. Okay. Also, apparently I missed this whole line over here. Good job, me. Oops. Okay. I want this line to be slightly cleaner. Okay. Oh wait. Forgot about this whole other section. Need to head out. Look forward to catching some of your streams in the future. Well, thank you for coming in and talking and everything. It was very nice to meet you. And thank you for following and rating and everything. I hope you have a good rest of your day or evening, whatever time it is. I guess it'd be probably evening. Also, yes, good old Papa G. We love him. I absolutely need to tell him that his n new name is now Papa G. I think he would hate me forever. That'd be hilarious, though.
I also forgot about this whole little back section. What? What? I'm gonna put this under the hair so I don't have to worry about that at least. My sinuses are getting to be a mess. Probably gonna have to. Ooh, wrong way. There we go. One bad thing about um, having it turned like this, which is why I barely use it, is that getting it to where you want it to be is like very disorienting sometimes. Cause you're like, where the hell is my camera going? After I finish this little flat color for this dress, which should take maybe like 15 minutes, we're actually going to play some games um, with some friends, which it looks like we'll be playing Blackout Club, which should be a little bit of fun. And if you don't know what that game is, it's kind of a, I would say spooky, but it's not like terribly spooky. Um, but it's about these kids whose parents... Um, and like the adults of the town are like under this like spell almost. And so they're trying to figure out, you know, what's going on and get evidence and everything and tell the world about what's happening in their little town. And so we are the kids. And we're doing these like little missions. And so we got to avoid people like they're called the sleepers and there's also lucids who can actually see you. The sleepers cannot see you. They can only hear you. So you got to be really quiet like your character does. Oh, wrong one. But quite a bit of fun sometimes the game devs come in uh for streamers and do a little shenanigans 
which I think that's a lot of fun. But I will be streaming as well as I believe my friend will be as well. Um, which that is Queen Axie in the chat. Which, Axie, if you want to do exclamation mark queen, give yourself a little bit of a shout out. Yes, you have your own command. <laughs> Just so you're aware. <laughs> Yeet. Yeah, I was like, that's the main person that I stream with. If I'm not streaming here, she's likely streaming our game endeavors. So give her a follow if you enjoy watching games. We play lots of stuff. It's always a good time. Mm -hmm. Okay, I kind of need this. Nope. Maybe like that. This song, whatever the song or songer, <laughs> the song is, sounds very much like a sim song for some reason to me. Like this sounds like something that's in build a sim. Tell me I'm wrong. You right, yeah. It really does, though. What? Okay. I wonder if sim music is non-copyrighted. That'd be fun to listen to for an entire stream. I'm sure it'd get really annoying at some point, but I like sim music. And I feel like that would kind of play nicely into the fact that we're creating characters, kind of. Ooh, that was a good, nice curve. Okay, can probably zoom out slightly.
Come on, sinuses. Stop doing this to me. Okay. Got some flat colors done. She's starting to come together a little bit. Besides the whole, her face looks like an absolute mess. <laughs> I do wonder how this would look with a more like, kind of neutral dark brown maybe. Let's see. Forget how to convert to drawing color. It's actually pretty nice. Might have to do more of a warm. Where was that again? Here. A little more warm. I like it. Try this one as well. Mm. Actually, if we do that, but have it on That's very nice. See, that's usually how I do a lot of my quote unquote line art is literally just doing the glow or color dodge in a color that kind of looks good. So it kind of does this cool thing where it kind of matches whatever color is behind it. I'd kind of have to adjust some things if I were to do that. But I like that. Let's go ahead, change that back to normal. Change that to half. Change that to that kind of darkish blue. But we'll remember that next time. Alright. Time to save. I always do save and save as just in case. But we will go over to one moment. <laughs> 